Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Luna. Hope you're all doing well. And this evening's video is going to be about this 2001 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor from the Walking Dead series in 1 in 43rd scale from Greenlight Hollywood um, series. And this is a casting I've had my eye on for a while. Um, and I went into my mate's shop this afternoon and decided to pick it up. So anyway, with that being said, we'll get straight into it. So it is a very, as soon as you pick it up, it is a really substantially weighty piece. Um, now, he told me earlier that he's had, he's, he's got one or two pieces in this scale from the Walking Dead um, series. I think he's got the Winnebago, Winnebago Chieftain. Um, what else has he got? The, I don't know, but he's got, he's got one or two. And he's also got the uh, CSI series car as well the crown victoria from the csi um, but i just thought this one looked cool not just because it's um from the walking dead but just because it's a uh, crown victoria police car um so anyway close a little closer look so i think it says atlanta is the state i think this car is supposed to be from uh, i'm not sure if this is actually the same um, if it is an actual true to life car, I'm not an expert on their, on American police cars, even though I like them. But, uh, like I said, this has been sat on his shelf for the last year or so. Um, just trying to look for a copyright date. So she's got some information there about The Walking Dead, obviously Greenlight Hollywood. Um, let's have a look. It is obviously an official licensed brand, official licensed piece. Uh, 2017 copyright so yes it's been out a few few years now but uh, nonetheless it is very cool so we will get it open have a decent look at it and get it out and like I said this is, has been sat on this shelf for a few years now so I got a really really good deal on it but like I said, it's just so, so weighty. You've got this really, really heavy duty uh, acrylic case, which is pretty cool. Let's just put the camera out. And I've got this little plastic piece here because there is opening parts. <clears throat> I believe this has an opening bonnet, opening doors, opening uh, boot. Yeah, very, very cool piece. As you can see, so it is in this sort of dark metallic blue. You've got the push bar in the front there. I think I'll just let's just get a screwdriver and briefly take this off if I can. I'll just pause the camera two seconds and boy, you were taking it off. And we're back, and there it is off its plinth, off its base. And this is like I said, in the hand, it's very, very weighty piece. Got a bit of, bit of dust going on. Yeah, very nicely weighted piece. Um, so you've got opening doors. So you can just about see, because I've got a bit of light issue here going on. You can just about see the uh, computer. I'm going to see it better through the top there. So you can see the screen there. And you can see some keys going on. Let's uh, try to get a better, better view of it. But this, like I said, very, very nicely done. So you can see it's got some internal details going on. Obviously, you've got the open doors, mirrors. Um, you've got acrylic lights, which is pretty cool. Plate detail, Lanta police. And you've got the little stoplight there in the back. And then the same on the front, you've got, again, you've got acrylic lens lights. And you can see the Ford emblem. And this is a nice touch. You can see these inner lights here. If I just get me a little screwdriver and point. These little inner, inner lights. You can see that they're in actual orangey colour. And I presume that when you've got the, the lights going, the blues and two, so to speak, the sirens, they would light up as far as I'm aware of in red, I presume, which is a nice touch. And then obviously you've got the uh, indicators orange there. But very very cool and this does have an opening boot if i can get it to stay open so you've got opening boot which is pretty cool got a bit of 
glue residue there it wipes off so that's a nice touch so you've got opening boot and oh steerable wheels so that's a that's a cool feature that i didn't know it had and the underneath is quite nicely detailed as well i think that is yeah that's a metal base so that is why it's so heavy so you've got a nice metal base obviously rubberized tires and steerable opposable wheels so this is a very very nicely done model from Greenlight, and i do believe let's see if we can get the bonnet open Oh, we'll get there in a second and there is the engine uh, I'm not sure I'm trying to see yeah very very cool very detailed little engine so I think it's a V8 um, I've not really done my research on this car I've been a bit slack but very very nicely detailed you can see very very nicely done this is a really really nice well-built model from green light um shot lines ain't too bad but like i said it is just the weight very very well very very well done very impressed with it and so i paid i paid um 15 pounds for this which i thought was really good but um i knew the doors and the boot opened i didn't realize until i actually got it out of the box the actual uh, bonnet opened and I wasn't aware that I had steerable wheels so very impressed yeah very very nice and, it, and like I said it doesn't matter if you're not a fan of the walking dead this makes it you know if you're a police car if you're into police cars um, you know this this will, this will appeal to the person that's into police cars you know if you're into Crown Victorias you know, you can see the interior mirror there. Look, I've noticed some details about it all the time. Very, very nicely done. Very happy that I picked it up. Very, very cool. So that is the 2001 Crown Victoria um, Police Interceptor that I got today. So that's pretty cool. So we'll just move up to one side a second. And I thought whilst I'm talking of The Walking Dead, I just thought I'd show a few of the other little cars that I do have. Um, so this is obviously the I think this is another 73 or 74 Winnebago Chieftain again from the first series and second I think this was uh, a character called Dell I believe this is his uh, means of transport and uh, if you're if you're familiar with the walking dead they used to sit on the roof and keep keep guard but this is very very nicely done you see got a crack to the window there i ain't going to spend too long looking at these because i have shown these in the past but i just thought because we're doing a bit of a walking dead theme today i thought i'd just briefly show them so it's pretty cool so that is the winnebago chieftain and then i've also got the 67 uh, ford mustang coupe which again is from i think it's from the second season this was on the roadside with loads of other cars when they when uh, that little girl disappeared and uh, they obviously left the message on the window for her and they left some supplies for her and i do believe this is an opening bonnet as well so pretty cool and then put the supplies back on the front but so uh, obviously these are one in 64 scale but like i said i'm not going to go mad with these and because like i said i have shown these before so we just put them in the background like that but anyway so that is today's video i think i'll just move these out of the way a little bit because that's obviously the main feature but anyway please like share and subscribe uh, please stay tuned for other unboxings and i am still waiting for the deliveries to come through with the post so that should be interesting when they finally turn up and uh also tomorrow i'm gonna be i'm gonna be doing another giveaway um i need to thin out my collection a little bit i'm getting um so much too much stored away at the minute so i think i'm going to give away a couple of johnny lightnings uh, i think i'm going to be giving away one of the james bond cars from yesterday's video 
and another Johnny Lightning um, that I've got. So I think I'm going to be getting rid of a couple of Johnny Lightnings and I've got quite a lot of main lines. Um, all loose, not packaged unfortunately, but uh, all in very nice condition. I've just got so many main lines um, that I think I'm just going to lighten the load a little bit. So I'll do a proper video tomorrow um, just explaining what I'm going to be giving away and how many pieces basically. And uh, all that good stuff. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching.